Thanks so much for staying with the McAllen Cable Network. I'm Roxanne Lerma. Joining us now are La Jolla ISD Police Chief, Mr. Raul Gonzalez. Thanks for joining us in the studio. Thank you for inviting us. So, um, Super Bowl weekend. Uh, there's something other than that going on. We're actually going to have the state Campus Crime Stoppers Conference coming to the McAllen Convention Center. So tell us about that. Well, it's the 20th annual Campus Crime Stopper Conference. Really? And okay. um, it's a very important event for uh, for crime prevention in our school districts. Uh, Campus Crime Stoppers has been around for many years, and uh, several years ago we applied uh, to host the conference here in the in the Rio Grande Valley, and we were awarded the conference. So for the last year, we have been preparing for the conference. We've partnered with the uh, McAllen uh, Crime Stoppers and uh, Mission Crime Stoppers and Palm View Crime Stoppers to host uh, the, the event uh, February 2nd through the 4th. Uh, we're expecting about 400 uh, attendees from all over the state. So it's very important not only for, uh, for us as a crime prevention tool, but it's also important for us as a, as a regional uh, area to showcase how the Valley is progressing in crime prevention uh, strategies and what we're doing to protect our kids in our schools. So when we're talking about <coughs> Campus Crime Stoppers and bringing in a, a big conference like this, a state conference, um, people probably automatically think uh, it's geared towards law enforcement. So is that what it is? Is it going to be a bunch of police officers and Crime Stoppers folks? Or are there children involved? Well, actually, the Campus Crime Stoppers, it's uh, geared towards students. Okay. okay. So we invite a lot of schools. Uh, a lot of high schools will send uh, a lot of their students, a lot of students that are interested in law enforcement. Uh, they'll come and uh, we'll do a lot of training on, uh, and we'll have some workshops on crime prevention and what Crime Stoppers is all about. Uh, one of the topics that we're going to be talking about uh, at this conference is cyberbullying. Okay? Uh, it's That's a, a big one right now. It's always it, I mean, over the last several years, it's important that we, that we uh, talk to kids about cyberbullying. So, we're going to have some sessions on cyberbullying. Uh, we're going to have some sessions on uh, active, active shooters. Uh, we're inviting uh, Brownsville uh, uh, police and the uh, uh, Brownsville CISD to come and do a presentation on what happened with them. Unfortunately, uh, they the had their incident. Yeah. Uh, uh, the unfortunate incident that they have, so they're going to do uh, training. <clears throat> and then the McAllen Police Department is also going to have a, a, uh, a session where they're going to uh, train and talk to us about uh, how to uh, respond to active shooters. And all of this is because we want to be prepared. Okay, uh, We've seen over <clears throat> many, many times incidents that have happened in other parts of the state, in other parts of the country, where we as law enforcement uh, officers, uh, our goal as uh, police officers at the schools is to protect the kids and to protect the staff. So we understand that as school districts, uh, we know that uh, safety and education come hand in hand. You cannot have one uh, if you can't. Have you don't have the other. You have to have them, and they have to work together. So this is a really good program. Again, I'm a firm believer in, uh, in, the, in the program. We've had our Campus Crime Stopper program since 2002. Since 2002 at La Jolla ISD, we paid over $60,000 in tips uh, on kids who have been calling in on uh, weapons, drugs, wow. uh, uh, recovery of stolen property. But we've also given out $20,000 in scholarships to graduating seniors. So every year we go, give out close to $2,000, sometimes $3,000. So uh, we, we want to partner with the kids in the community uh, and, and let them know that law enforcement is not just here to arrest and book people. Okay? We're here to help them out. Besides protecting uh, our schools, we want for them to know that uh, throughout the year you do well and if you do uh, and if you want to continue your post-secondary education, that somebody's going to give you some money to help you out a little bit. And that's what we've been doing. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. It's always important for us. Uh, it's important because we understand and we know that a lot of these kids that graduate eventually are going to come back to our community and be our leaders of our communities. So you're talking about uh, the different issues that are going to come up, uh, the different topics that are coming up in this conference. And we're talking, <clears throat> you know, suicide, cyberbullying, active shooter, like you mentioned. How important is it to engage students and educate them about things like that? You know, we, you look at the news media reports and you look at all the things that are happening and a lot of people around the state may have a misunderstanding of the valley, okay? Uh, we are safe, number one. And this is a great place to live, okay, number two. Yes, it is. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we need to work a little bit harder 
to let everybody know that we are safe and it is a great place to live. Uh, but we do know that we have some obstacles and this is where we fight every day to try to uh, win those obstacles against the drug cartels, against kids that want to use drugs. So the other thing that we're going to be doing is uh, we partnered up with Border Patrol mm -hmm. and we made an interesting video uh, about uh, human and drug smuggling. Uh, and how kids are engaged in those uh, Operation activities. Detour. Operation Detour. We just interviewed actually the deputy chief <coughs> that kind of launched that initiative here in the Valley. So we're going to show that presentation at our, at our conference. It's over. really interesting. Yes, because we want the state to know that we're going to be doing everything we can uh, to prevent kids from making the wrong choices. And that is our job as police officers nowadays, that it's not just about arresting them. We have to be proactive. We have to be proactive in everything we do. I mean, we need to start thinking as a regional uh, community that we need to work together. Uh, the uh, lines of communication need to be open at all times with all agencies. So when we've uh, decided that we wanted to host this, McAllen Crime Stoppers is on board, Edinburgh Crime Stoppers is on board, uh, San Juan Crime Stoppers is on board. Everybody says, you know what, Chief? We like this idea. This is for the Valley. You know, we don't have the hotels in La Jolla. We don't have the convention center in La Jolla. But we have them in McAllen. But we have them in McAllen. And there's nothing wrong with having an event in McAllen hosted by a school district that doesn't have anything in McAllen. But because you know what? we're all one region. But we're all in one region. We partnered up with STC, and now we have STCC, STC campus at one of our La Jolla ISD buildings. Right. So it's important that everybody understands that we may live in different communities. We may work for different school districts, but at the end of the day, we're still the Rio Grande Valley. Okay, excellent. And so one last recap. We're looking at Super Bowl weekend, February what? February 2nd Fe uh, through February 4th. Uh, we're going to be at the McAllen Convention Center hosting uh, the 20th Annual Campus Crime Stoppers Conference. And we're expecting about 400 uh, attendees. Uh, we are expecting a lot of uh, law enforcement community members to be there. Uh, newly elected uh, the DA and the sheriff will be there as well. Excellent. So, uh, and Border Patrol and other law enforcement agencies will be doing training to our majority of our students throughout the state, and hopefully uh, we have a great event. Excellent. It will be a great event. And again, the, the mission is to protect and to serve. Chief Gonzalez, thanks for joining us in the studio. For the City of McAllen, I'm Roxanne Lerma.